What the? What the? What the? What? How the absolute fuck shit did that? Okay. Well, those are things that happened back in Classic Cods. Hello there again, minions. It's Wheezy. Today, we're talking about COD 4. This is in my series of my top five Call of Duties of all time. COD 4, the classic, really the beginning of COD as the world-conquering franchise it has become. Coming in at number three. I'm a little surprised too. Number three on my list of top Call of Duties of all time. First, let's jump over into the barracks real quick. I'm a little bit in the way. Let's jump out real quick. And just say, how much did I play this game? 21 days, 11 hours, 30 minutes, 50, almost 59,000 kills to 28,000 deaths. And just really, I could not get enough of this game. COD 4 was so good, even when, or when World at War came out, just because I'm not a huge fan of the World War II uh, timeline and just COD 4 is just good. I went back and so I played COD 4 the whole year that World at War was out. And then what? Then Modern Warfare 2 came out, and then obviously I jumped over and played a lot of that. Let's look real quick through the maps that we have here in COD 4, because one of the things I'm learning as I'm going through these is a lot of what makes these games good is the replayability that comes from having good classic maps, as well as decent weapon balance, not a lot of bullshit, right? So the pros in a game are a variety of things that you can play with, weapons and equipment and stuff like that, the quality of the maps, and then the bad things that kind of take away from that are the bullshit and crap in the game. So Ambush, great map, Backlock, great map, Block, really good map, I don't know if I'd say great, but it was a, it's a fun map to play, Bog, great, Countdown is a good one, Crash is great, Crossfire is great, District's pretty good to great. Downpour is pretty, is pretty good to great. Overgrown's not one of my favorites, but still a good map. Pipeline, none of these really stand out to me as like, I hate them. Shipment has always been cancer, but again, shipment serves a very specific purpose. Showdown, okay, well, probably one of my least favorite, if not my least favorite, COD 4 map. Strike, really great map. Man, I really wish they would bring Strike back more. Foreshadowing? Um, vacant. A good map. Honestly, this one keeps getting remade, even though it's not one of my favorite. I don't think it necessarily deserves to be remade as often as it is, but it's a good map. Wet work, I do like, but again, it's because I sit on the bridge sniping on this one. Um, but again, all these very three-lane maps. Broadcast, good map. This is actually in Modern Warfare 2019. Chinatown, this one was one of the first Call of Duty maps that was kind of a labyrinth and a maze and that felt a little bit more random. I still remember enjoying Chinatown, but even in my brain, I can't really put together the routes on this one. So this is one of the earliest kind of like random, not super three laney maps. Um, Kill House, I didn't even remember that Kill House was in COD 4, but um, good little small map as far as those things go. Creek was a little bit too big. Uh, fun map to play on, but uh, it was a little too big and wide open as far as uh, COD maps go. So. So what we're going to do is we're just going to jump into a couple of matches here if we can. I was playing on this a little bit the other day and compared to like Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops, like some of the newer, older COD games that have recently had their matchmaking kind of repaired, COD 4 was, was having some trouble putting me into games. So let's see if we can just jump into a game here or a couple of games and uh, kind of talk about what made COD 4 such a great thing. So. Getting dropped into games that are almost finished. Not part of that, although obviously the population is very limited right now. Hopefully this lobby will stay together. Yeah, I'll vote to skip Pipeline. I don't dislike Pipeline. Not, not, definitely not one of my favorites. A vote to skip. What a great thing to have in a modern game. Or even in like Black Ops where you had a couple of choices. You got to vote for like, do you want this one or that one or a random one? All right. Looks like we're playing Pipeline. That's all right. This is actually a good map. So yeah, Call of Duty 4 was really this first like refreshing game that came out after this glut of World War II shooters. Like that was all you were playing was Medal of Honor and even Call of Duty. Like if you wanted to play a first person shooter, especially like on a console, that's kind of what you were playing. And then COD 4 came along and said, we're going modern, we're going multiplayer. We're giving you the ability to customize your classes Customize your weapons with some attachments. 
choose perks. Oh, hello. Choose some perks to kind of suit your play style. I mean, it was that freedom and customizability that was really kind of addictive. The maps, of course, being excellent helped a lot. Uh, they're very replayable. I mean, you would jump into a match and just... Oh, man, how am I still alive? All right, come on. I don't want to stay back here, but I need to heal up. What the? What the? What the? What? How the absolute fuck shit did that? Okay. Well, those are things that happened back in Classic Cods. There we go. Again, got two burst hit markers on that guy without killing him. M16 was... For anyone that remembers, obviously one of the most overpowered guns in this game. Notoriously one hit kill, like one burst kill. Guy like directly above. Uh, I'm gonna get, this is, you know, Overgrown is a longer range map, so that's why we're pulling out this gun here. Are you, where did you? All right, fine. Just apparently. Ah, uh, really, Chopper? Uh, <laughs> this is getting kind of frustrating for me right here, talking about why this is one of the best Call of Duty's in the series. But yeah, it did. There was definitely a lot in here uh, that wasn't popular, that wasn't great. Trip Frags was universally hated. Juggernaut, also pretty widely hated. The ACOG M40, the One Burst M16, so... But this game being, like, the first game, where you had this modern setting, modern gameplay, you didn't have alternatives, so you just kind of had to deal with the shitty parts of it, because the good parts were so good, and there was really no competition, no alternative. Um, but the maps were great there was a lot of variety like challenges you could complete camos to unlock prestige mode so that you could go through and continue unlocking stuff like just added all this replayability in addition to just being uh fun gameplay and just for that reason, I mean, what did it say? 21 days I played this game? Just talk about replayability. There's, you know, not a bajillion maps, but they're all good enough that you just feel like you can replay them over and over and over again and not feel like you're hating them. A lot of the new Modern Warfare 2 maps just aren't good. I just don't even want to play them at all. I did not have that problem with COD 4 maps, where even, like I said, I kind of wanted to vote to skip Pipeline. It's not one of my favorites. Sniper over there. But it's also not so bad that, like, I'm just like, I don't want to play it. It's got good, good routes. It's got tactics you can use, right? Like, I know if there's snipers up on this hill, I know there's a way that I can kind of push to flank them. There's even an underground route. You want to use it? No chopper, no chopper, no chopper. You've got options, you've got tactical gameplay. Mm. You're not going to be easy to challenge that sniper through there. Not at this resolution. Oh yeah, we've got this. Nope, 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 oh god, ow. <laughs> Guess you've got that too. I forgot that that was a little tricksy sometimes. You had some maps with some elevation, which honestly I didn't think was the greatest thing, but it does give you some options, especially if you're trying to be a sniper. As the chopper picks you off. Alright. Alright, chopper. Fucking, do you mind enough right now? So yeah, Call of Duty 4 was a game with a lot of flaws that just came at the perfect time to capitalize on that lack of competition. How the fuck? Excuse me? Yeah, 
Yeah, let's not do that. That's a bad spawn for him, although I'm about to die for it. Oh, that stun lasts a long time. Oh, behind. Excuse me. This game just... Literally defined the genre. That guy's still up top there. I mean, I don't even really think about it now because so many games have, have adopted it, but the kill cams even are uh, something that was just a great addition to make you better at the game. You could learn what you had done that got you killed. You could see if people had, like, campy positions or, or cheap positions, head glitches and stuff like that. You can see in the kill cam, oh, that's where they are, that's where they're hiding. So, a big part of, for me, I think, what makes people better at modern shooters is learning from how you died, and kill cams were a big part of that. COD 4 had kill cams. COD 4 had the ability to customize your weapons. Like, there's just so much that we take for granted in shooters these days that COD 4 came up with. Now, the things that sucked about it were like, man, I hope they fix this in the future, right? Like. Um, RPGs were a perk, which was explosives could, could be irritating in this game. Um, but at least if you had to, if you wanted to choose RPGs, you had to like give up some of your other stuff like bandolier. Trip frags was way too many explosives. Uh, yeah, again, things like Juggernaut were hated. La uh, last stand martyrdom, like dropping a grenade when you died, going into last stand with a gun after someone killed you. Those things were always really hated and cheap but just goes to show that that a game can be great kind of despite a lot of its weaknesses if the strengths are enough to overpower it and then people were like looking at okay well then modern warfare 2 is going to take what cod 4 did and just fix it um and just make it better Chinatown, so this is probably, now that I'm thinking about it, probably the worst COD 4 map. Because, much like the problems I have with modern Call of Duty maps, why can't I move? It's got too many routes, it's got too many angles, it's not a three-lane map. So, it's just a little bit too random to play well from a tactical standpoint. And I think that really hurts the map. Like, I don't even fucking know where bullets are coming from, so. This was the probably the earliest example of, like, what not to do in a Call of Duty map. Because, like, every other Call of Duty map was a solid three-lane map. And then Chinatown was one of these DLC maps where they really took a risk. It has, like, a unique feel to it, which was kind of cool. But it ended up just being... Like that, like a fucking maze of peekaboo. And it either causes you to get these random frustrating deaths, or it motivates you to avoid getting shot from 85 different angles. Um, it makes you play more campy, more defensively, which is not good, so. The one that always stands up in my, stands out in my mind um, from that standpoint in the Call of Duty series is Favela in Modern Warfare 2. It was one of the first kind of core Call of Duty maps that had a lot of elevation and that feeling of randomness. Look at that. Like, I'm in one building and I feel like I'm fucking lost. What the... What the fuck? Caught up on the geometry trying to get through that map, so... So not without its flaws, right? COD 4 really set the standard for a lot of what we love about modern shooters. Custom classes, variety of weapons, things to unlock, challenges to complete, uh, the ability to kind of customize your play style, uh, but then just a lot of things that really needed to be fixed, or it needed to be balanced or reevaluated, and that's where 
subsequent Call of Duty games had those opportunities and were successful or unsuccessful in various ways. This is such a fucking clusterfuck of a map. And again, I'm going to have to basically just kind of watch angles just because it's so random, like, is anyone going to try and rear flank here? I might try and push this flank, and I'm in the open trying to get around here. Don't, don't host migrate. It's because, whoa, 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 okay, I thought it was going to host migrate, it was just lagging. I thought that was going to be the host quitting because uh, this map kind of sucks donkey balls, but did not end up being the case. Enemy UAV is airborne. Uh, sure, here. Oh, that's right, the ability to chain kill streaks. Kind of forgot about that. Uh, only on a, on a single alternate death. So it wasn't horrible, but that was one of the things that was kind of fun, and you got a lot of advantage out of ch chaining kill streaks. But when they fixed that, I was relieved because being able to get an airstrike, get a chopper, and have that chopper earn you another chopper was was pretty shit. Let's be honest. Oh. So you're gonna push around this way? There we go. <laughs> Alright, we're losing. Alright, come on, Chopper. Pull us back into this. Let's see, he's gonna push in here. How, how, how? Why, I pre fired the shit out of that. Oh, thank you, teammate. Why are we all in this corner? We gotta push out of them before they get my chopper. Excuse, please? That's not a kill? Get him, chopper. Nope. Ugh. Looks like we're gonna lose this one. On that! On that? Really? How the fuck did I lose that fight? Uh, connection advantage is real in classic COD, man. Oh well, we did what we could, and we we got to touch on a lot of the good and the bad of COD 4, so. Yeah, number three on my list of all-time best Call of Duty games. Number five was the original Modern Warfare 2. Number four, the new Modern Warfare 2. And here we are, COD 4. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Where do you guys think COD 4 stacks up? I know there's probably an argument to be made for best of all time, and I think I've covered a lot of that in here where it's foundational and definitely laid the groundwork. But there's just too many things that got in its way for it to be the best Call of Duty of all time. So I got two more coming up. Hopefully you guys will be looking forward to those. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.